should I start with remove my whole code? Uh, yeah, we can do that order. When, when I'm saying remove my whole code, it doesn't mean I will completely remove it because in history I see all my old codes. And actually, I, I should be careful about this. Oh, I can maximize code. That will come handy from time to time. I need to remember about it next time when I'm streaming coding game. Mm. I have 600 lines and most of that is stupid DP. I shouldn't do that. Well, mm. instead of DP, I'm going to do BFS today. Uh, hmm. Some parts will stay, like reading the input. I wonder if I should just remove everything for the sake of it, or if I should remove every part unless it's necessary. But 90% of this code goes away. I will do part of, part of two first. There is nothing including requirement. Subset. I don't want subset. Okay, removed. Subsets, no. TP, no. No. Should I maybe delete character by character? Is this more satisfying? Seeing my whole work getting removed. Print. Yeah, I don't not, not want to print either. This struct will go away. Can do from inventory the goal. What did that do? Requirement five. Oh yeah, because we are within a sub sub um, the subsequence. Sure, is redundant also gets removed. I don't know if it's satisfying or frustrating. The fact that I... Well, I don't know if I should say wasted my time here. This got me to Silver Leak after all. It's, it's not that bad. This was a recursive function to find all possible combinations of spells. I will just add one spell at a time. My solution will be much simpler and I expect it to be better. Add spell. Okay, add spell might be useful. Make sense can be removed. Why minimum 720p? Oh, actually I'm happy anyway if you can choose between 1080 and 720. No, 1080. Anyway, uh, you can use you you can watch on YouTube at the same time if you want a different quality. Max terms requirement, yeah, that goes away. I could reasonably speaking, I should actually just polish my current code. It, it's not that I fight here for any prizes. Did I remove add spell function? Oh well. <laughs> this is it. Yeah, this is the add spell. Mm, it's improvement. Improve. Go away. Hello, Samia, Lakshay, Sanket, Rushi, Leu. Dream player. Hi, everybody. Sorry about this not being. Mm, you know, sorry for this being surprising, st surprise stream. Usually I stream on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, but I just I want to try the BFS. I want to try the simple algorithm and try to get to Gold League. 
void initialize. Again, my okay, we are halfway through this point of removing my whole code, and I expect that more people joined. Maybe I will explain rules in a moment again. Why is all this code being decimated? decimated? Is that a word? Because it's bullshit. Not bullshit, it's shit. <laughs> I spent many hours on this code. I think eight hours in total, plus some thinking time, so maybe ten. But it's bad. It was enough to get to Silver League, but it was too complicated. It's it just too slow once I try to use complicated operations in this game. We're playing this coding game challenge. And when I try to make my program smart, this part becomes slow. And well, that's bad. Let's continue this beautiful process. Can hard work beat talent? To some degree, Anybody's performance will be a combination of their work and talent, right? So if somebody almost doesn't work, uh, but has talent, and you instead don't have that much talent, but you will work hard, then you will beat them. It's a combination of two, talent and hard work. Miss your project, what is the purpose of this project? I will explain after I erase half of this. I know that I could control a delete, but also I'm I'm reading what I'm deleting, and uh, for, so far I left this. Then there are comments. So far I left those ten lines, which I could rewrite in like seconds. Why is this highlighted? What's wrong? Oh, no. and that's the plan for today. Get path. Do I want something from get path? Mm, not like this. I will, if I do BFS, then I will need to uh, reconstruct a path anyway. The bad thing about BFS is that I will not be able to distribute work into multiple turns. I don't see how to do it. Uh, I will just hope that my BFS is faster than 50 milliseconds. If it's slow, then I will just make my solution more stupid and that's it. Now remember, if you watched my first stream, you will remember this function, smallest increases. Somebody from the chat suggested it. It was my first heuristic to choose spells to learn. All right, I will do some more erasing, but we already got from 600 lines to 300, but rules of this contest. Uh, this thing lasts for two weeks and you need to implement a bot to play a two-player game. Mm. I need to announce on Twitter Right, done. Uh, it is possible with incremental BFS. Yeah, but I don't know what I would do. I would need to wait in that time or just rest. And for now, I will assume that I'm able to do BFS once. I would say that my previous solution was better in terms of distributing the work. That being said, the amount of, of work was just huge, gigantic. In particular, I in that pre-processing, I allowed my resources to go below zero, so hence more dimensions. Remember, I used eight dimensions in my DP. It was 10 by 10 by 10 by 10 by 4 by 4 by 4 by 4 by 4. It was crazy. Here, I will just need four dimensions for inventory. All right, rules of the game. Mm. You control one of the two witches. You have some inventory, at most 10 items. You cannot have more. Mm, and if you can afford any potion here at the bottom, 
you spend those resources and you get price of here 14 points if you have three yellow and two blue resources on the side you have spells spells you use to create resources with one spell i can create two orange or i can create one yellow or i can subtract one orange and create one yellow so exchange orange for yellow apparently yellow is more valuable resource blue is the most common at, and at the beginning of the game in the middle there are spells you can learn so if you want to be more efficient you if you want to have more possibilities more spells available for you you need to spend a few turns at the beginning to learn those spells from the middle you waste turns but then you can do more later on uh, that being said some algorithms will work slower if you give them more possibilities so those are the rules here we go again exactly and my previous you don't need to care about what my previous solution was it was just over complicated i'm stupid that i went that direction i too much cared about oh dp we can do something optimally no that's stupid in those optimization games you never do optimal you just do something reasonably good and that's enough i'm indeed back for more even though i wanted to have on Friday evening, I would prefer to do something fun, but actually, this is fun for me. I want to try BFS. Right. Competitive programming is kind of my job, but also I like it. And I will use repeatable spells this time. This BFS will be amazing. game loop. path do i want a path i will run bfs every time maybe well true need to restart i don't remember what that was the reading was there by default so i'm not going to touch it if you can cast a spell Why this? Because I did I remove my struct for spell? No, it's here. Oh, because now there are two struct spells. Mm, don't remove this one. Read the inventories. This is a part of game theory, right? Yes, you can say so. <laughs> My DP will be amazing, said director two streams ago. I wasn't right. For sure, it found, once it worked, it found optimal paths towards some potion. Uh, it wasn't worth it, and it limited the number of spells for me to learn. Mm, I, my current limit of spells is 9. I don't worry too much about it. Uh, I want value at least 2. If need blues, need restart. Try to brew a potion. Initialize DP improve. Right. I believe that here every time I will run BFS right here. I will use currently available spells. I need to care about the fact which of them are usable. Some of them might require resting. Mm. Let's try to extract this logic somewhere above and then use it here. Just like previously I used dp improve or like, I used the namespace dp. Do I again want a namespace and separate structs there? If you're new 
a spell has costs and it's let's say like this minus two plus three zero zero this would mean there are four types of resources blue green orange yellow uh, this vector of size 4 denotes the delta you will get in your inventory. This would mean that I lose two items, two instances of the first resource, first type, and I gain three of the second type. This would mean pay two blue, but you need to have at least two blue, and you will gain three green. This vector always has a size of 4. I think I will use a namespace. Then I can optimize there. Should I remove this first function I made, smallest increases? I did that when I didn't plan anything. This was my most basic heuristic. And it was very good for a heuristic. Mm. Not the P BFS. In BFS, I will provide my current inventory, a quadruple, how many blue and so on I have. Uh, and also it should know available spells and their status, whether I can now cast them or not. And it will just keep moving forward. Run. Starting from this inventory. I should pass here maybe as well the potions. I'm not sure about that. Potions, vector, vectors of ins. Maybe like that then. So should a potion there. I guess potion can be global. BFS will just access it like that. Uh, same then. I can use the same for spells. Castable, repeatable. Maybe. Not sure. Not sure. Let's for a moment assume that I, this is global, the potions and spells. But maybe this will change later. I, gain the, I get the current inventory. I need to find, let's say, the shortest path towards some potion and I need to make one move towards that potion. How many turns I need to get some? Then this will return ID ID of spell to use or I could say that I want to rest or minus one if rest this also will be returned if I don't find any path regarding problem solving approach you can read this I was asked many times how to practice competitive programming, so read that. What about the brew action? Yeah, the, uh, oh, right now my brew action is just whenever I can brew a potion, I do it. So if my distance towards a potion is zero, then I do it automatically. This is run BFS. Let's call it solve. There are around 1000 possible inventories. If for each of them I multiply that by the number of spells to use, that's around 10,000. And uh, of course, time's a small constant because you need to then try to use a spell, you need to see if all the conditions are satisfied. The time limit per turn is 50 milliseconds. And I want this to fit in 50 milliseconds. Assuming that I have 10 spells. Might be possible. Alright. 
in BFS, in BFS, it's good to avoid a set. A set or priority queue you need in Dijkstra, but not in BFS. But resting will be some deal here. It would be annoying. What do I want? There is some queue. To queue, I push back turn uh, the inventory or repair zero dot inventory. The first element would be the number of turns needed. Why you don't like this? No pushback. Why? Oh, because pair. Yeah. That would be a queue of pairs, the number of turns and the current inventory. Not only that, I would also need to reconstruct the path to say what's that path towards that. There are two things I can do. One is I can start BFS from potions, get to the end and just remember last step, but then I could lose the information from which potion I'm going towards the, the start and that's over complicated. No, I want something else. Uh, previous state. Previous state. Like that. Let's say that this is empty if this wasn't used yet and otherwise it if I got from two three four one to some odd new state two 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 then at two 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 I will know that this was previous one. Not only that, I need to know what spells are available. Because I use a few spells then I need to rest. Maybe a struct for state will help. And this includes the inventory, if necessary, and also an information about spells that I can use. I will remember this as a mask. Like if there are six spells, then this mask will mean that this is, or let's say once they note used spells. Right. Then this is vector of states. And also I will save the number of turns here. Zero inventory. Let's for, let's assume first that zero. Actually no. I should go through spells and say which of them are usable. Or used um, starting initial initial or starting used spells spells of i dot castable if not castable then start used spells XOR with this now this is a bit mask saying which are used spells. I think that this should be available spells. If it's castable, then do this. Available spells. All right. And now we go through this queue. And from every state, we consider using every spell. for everything. This is the current state Q of I. Let's say that this I will call this IQ not to be able to use I later. From this we move forward, iterate over spell to use. Uh, 
if state dot mask and this so if this spell is available for using for now let's say that I use it just once why not do the best moves before resting I mean, if I don't find any path then what do I do the best moves you it it's possible that in order to create some potion you need to rest multiple times If this, then I need to know what would be a new state. But first, I want to know if new inventory is good. So state, maybe here there should be a function. First, a can. Can I want to be very fast? So here, just iterate over everything and say if inventory of I plus spell dot cost of I smaller than zero, I would go below zero. Return false. So sum plus equal interval of this. the inventory cannot exceed 10 items if state dot can of spell if this but not only that also I need some array visited or anything like that. This. Mm. It won't be that easy, but let's start from assuming that it's that easy. This and not visited of and here i would need to put a lot a is state of zero no state dot inventory of zero plus spell dot cost of zero Do this and if not visited yet again it will be more complicated but I will fix that if this is not visited then mark it as visited and Q push back a new state Need to do that Because I start with pushbacking the very first element, I need to say visited of initial inventory. Inventory of one. This is already visited. What's the new state? It's just like the previous state. But new state dot inventory is ABCD. New state turns plus plus. And mask is also modified. Because this spell cannot be used anymore. We are for sure missing. Wait, what, what's wrong? Oh, we need to return something. Mm. We need to sometimes rest. The issue might be right now. 
this I mean this is not enough for me because I this right now this is global anyway do you think it's a good idea to use a vector for just four numbers no it isn't array would be faster but this is this is what I had from the very beginning I can later refactor how are you thinking about timing out the search I I will make this BFS to work below 50 milliseconds. That's my goal. And this is... Unlike the DP solution from before, where its complexity was exponential, this is small. If needed, I will just cut some states. I will say, don't visit them ever. Like, never, uh, never consider getting 10 blues. No. I will keep working on that until this is always fast enough i think it's possible to do bfs on 10 no on 1000 nodes with 10 ver 10 edges from each node so that it would be always below 50 milliseconds must be enough what about resting right now this will not work with resting because if I say I want to from some state to move, I basically move to the same state when we rest, it just that mask restarts. But this array would say that, well, this is already visited. So one thing we can do is add dimension two. And this will be my current vectory and information whether I'm well rested. By default, we move to zero. But also, here, okay, and from this state, if state.mask is not full, it's always. This is using a spell first resting 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 allows you to reuse your spells this is that if not visited of A, B, C, D, 1, then mark it as visited. And say Q pushback, new state, where new state is the same thing, but the number of turns increased by 1 because I rest and also the mask of available things state mask uh, this is one shifted by spells dot size minus one if the number of spells is four then it's ten to fourth power minus one that would be a bit mask one 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 that would what would happen for for spells mm. right well you need to start from saying this I believe that this is faster than memset because I don't visit all the cells I visit here only those important ones but I do this multiple times right for per every BFS I want to clear this and I have this previous do I really want that 
Well, if, if that's the case, I would need a two. That, for now, I don't use it, but I need it to reconstruct my path. I can, to a state, just add a sequence of moves, and I think I will do that at the beginning, then I will improve. Operations or moves. This will encode everything I need to do, where minus one represents resting. What's wrong? All right. Uh, the initial one is just empty. Q push back this. New state. There's new state. Push back this. No, minus one. Minus one represents resting. New state dot operations. New state operations. Not resting, but what do I put here? A spell ID. Hello, Mr. Eric. Hello, Boggy TV or Boogie. Do we need moderators? And for sure, no, if I don't know you. Mad Rabbit just traded with the channel with 24 viewers. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mad Rabbit. You can briefly say what you are doing. It's very cool, especially if you did coding game as well. I'm now redoing my whole algorithm. With, dy with complicated dynamic programming, I got to the Silver League. And it's just too slow. I want to, I removed my whole code and I'm doing BFS from scratch. It will be simpler and faster. Will you participate in Code Forces Division 2 round by uh, Ashish? Uh, no, I don't participate in Division 2 rounds. Now with dump, dump the F BFS, we hope to get higher indeed than with smart dynamic programming. I also got, I have a list of potions, so I need to find, okay, we have a state, for every potion, if I can afford, then consider moving to that potion. Also, should I maybe say break after that yes i should i mean here boo any potion If I can do any potion with this inventory, don't go further in BFS. That's just a waste of time. That being said, without that, my solution is more deterministic, more predictable. I will always go through all the states. Here, I am afraid that with this continue, what will happen is sometimes it will work far, fast enough, just because I can quickly get a potion, and sometimes it will time out. Oh. This is a bit fishy. Is this a real game or did organizers make it up? It is based on a board game called Centuries Spice Road something. Somebody in the chat will know. How did your DP from last week uh, stream work? Was it optimized in the end? I didn't improve it f uh, from you know, Thursday. So yesterday, did I stream yesterday? It all becomes one long stream. Yeah, yesterday I worked on it last time and I got to Silver League, nothing more. I'm doing BFS from scratch. 
in state create a function can afford given a potion if inventory of ice smaller than potion potion cost of i return false this Mm, okay, never mind. Yeah. If I can afford, mark this, but also save this as a good path. best path is empty or its size is too big state.operations.size then override St state in operations I know the path towards that, that potion then return hmm assert not best path empty I want this to just completely fail give me an error if I didn't find any path for now otherwise return best path of zero but maybe also I want to print it Print it, return the action to do, and that's it. Globally, I need potions and spells. <laughs> what are you doing with your life? What am I doing? Oh no. <laughs> this sounded so sad. I'm enjoying my life. Imagine liking your job so much that even though you wanted to rest on Friday evening, you prefer to do something, to try something. I think that's like job work for anybody. Oh, I already had a function can. I repeated that above with uh, can afford, no, just can. Let's, let's put more meaning. Where did I have it? Can you spell? Okay, I'm removing the her amazing heuristic faction. Globally, I have potions and I have spells. If I create that here I have it here but I should do just spells that clear potions that clear because they are global now this set was used previously I don't need it now don't need this. My current inventory. Try to brew potion. All right. BFS. Run BFS of inventory. If action is minus one. Else, what do I do? I use a spell. I think it was called cast. What do we have here?
right? From 600 lines, I got down to 300. First test, fixed compilation errors. And when you refactor code, always you have compilation errors. I print something stupid right here. If I need blues, I don't want you. Worth subscribing, thanks for everything. You are welcome. I compiled and that was very fast. Right. Assertion failed. Debugging time. All visited are false. We start with a single state and there is state can afford a potion. Let's see if can afford is correct. For every, if inventory is smaller than potion cost, then false. That's wrong, right? Potion cost is negative, isn't it? Yes, it's negative. I had that bug before. This should be like that. Uh, then, as a next draft thing, I will here print. I don't want to print a lot, hence this if to only print some stuff. Let's print IQ and state dot inventory of zero, state dot inventory of one. Run again. I want to see if maybe I have just a single state, nothing more, or if I have a lot of states. What is the site's name? It's codinggame.com. There is link in the description. It seems that I only consider resting, and that's it. I didn't use any spell. There is resting can do any potion. Let's see if for sure I use spells. Spells. Spells push back. There should be there. If this mask, do I initialize mask properly? Start available spells. If castable, XOR with that. Yes, that's correct. What happens then? If I can use a spell. Will the code be available after streaming? I want to use it to understand more C++ and get some inspiration. That's a bad idea. Anything I do during a contest, it isn't perfect. And you're much better off learning from you know, dedicated resources to show you C++. Yes, I can, cop at the end, I copy paste this code, put it in ID1 or paste bin, give you a link. But really, you shouldn't use this to learn C++ from that. Here, let's print x, 
here let's print y here let's print z i will understand now which of the conditions stops me why c++ over python because it's faster and it has a lot of in useful library algorithms like a set a lot of xy's it means i cannot use a spell if inventory plus the cost Smaller than zero return false. I wonder if my current inventory is correct. How do I initialize that? Uh, the second value is inventory. Yeah, that's good. Hmm. Let's here print a reason for this. Uh, can't afford. This will say which resource I cannot do. Or let's print the sum. Which game engine you are using? I completely don't get the question. I'm not creating a game. I'm implementing, somebody created this game and I'm implementing a AI for that. Is there some, okay, some is huge. Something is not defined properly. I bet that spell cost or inventory is empty. Int dot size is this and spell dot size is this is randomish huge value. Where, any video where I talk about code difficulty? Oh, you mean the time complexity? Inventory dot size is this. And then spell dot size. No. Well, inventory dot size is messed up. It prints that the size is billion or more. State second element. I think the sums are some pointer addresses. Yeah, that, that, I'm doing something wrong. That's for sure. State. Let's see where I create a state. I hope that this is a vector of ints, right? Is it? Also, oh, maybe I pass array instead of vector. Run BFS, given inventory. Please tell me that inventory is, no, this is good, damn it. state ampersand state must be this 
<gasps> You're right, I modify vector. You're right. Thank you, 20 pixels. When you push back to vector, vector can resize and then pointers are all messed up. It's much better now. I think I just got timeout. That's good. Oof. Uh, remove the printing. Should I really? Just print fewer things. That's first step, and then yeah, actually, if can do any potion, I will do break. Not continue. So right now, I anyway am looking for the shortest path. So if this model 100 is zero, print just that. What IQ stands for? I think it's intelligence quota or something. But here it's index in Q. Uh, yes, I know that arrays are faster than vectors. All right, I'm doing stuff. And I had a timeout there. Let's investigate if indeed I went for the cheap potion and I did it optimally. I created the one with two green and two orange. Let's roll back. Okay, I'm done learning spells. My spells are on the left. I need two green and two orange. This spell is easy to create orange. To create green. Maybe use this or that twice and then change some green to orange. Yeah, that's the easiest I see. Okay, how do I achieve that? Create blue. Then change one blue to green. Change one green to orange. Change three blue to three green. Rest. Green to orange. Done. I don't like the fact that here I'm immediately resting. Maybe that's part of the plan. Yeah, the, the, the resting part was strange. Maybe my main code does that. Like forces rest after finding a path. All right, still, that's that's great. I'm My BFS sometimes works. But even if it works, I need to print that turn time. Uh, oh, well, I can first see what's printed there once I get the timeout. The spell size, inventory size, don't need that. Mm, can't afford stupid, some stupid. I want just to print IQ from time to time. The inventory, sure. 
the goal of this programming session is to win against AI. It is to create a better AI. I think oh, I don't want to print X and Y. This time I didn't time out, so I'm guessing that I did time out because of printing too much. Printing is slow. Let, where do I have more than nine? Let's say that I'm fine with up to 11 spells. And after BFS is done, I will print turn time. I believe it prints in milliseconds. But if that's the case, then let's add MS. Fuck you, bro. Oh, how, how are you so mean? Oh no. I'm hate. I hate you. I'm not your fan. Mm. So sad. Uh. I lost by a little bit. Okay, I have a lot of new lines, so I have. Yeah, this is unnecessary. The new line. Let's repeat. I think that already in just one hour I did something better than the three previous streams. Right. I want to uh, understand stuff that I print. I learn spells then in less than one millisecond. Is that correct? I find a path. Oh, because just it's very easy to make it. Yep, yep. Okay, next thing. I need to not rest be after making a potion. But here in half a millisecond I found a path consisting of spells 78, 88, 78, which one is it? I don't see 78. Oh, because I rest first. Yeah, now, now, now we're talking. 78, then 88, plus 2 blue, plus 2 green. Oh no, no. Exchange? 70, is that 79? What happened? I see. When this happened, I still didn't rest. Then I rest because my program is stupid. Let's find in main why I rest. Maybe after brewing a potion? For every potion, try to brew and need to restart is true. No, I don't want that. Does it compile? Now I will be more efficient. No more wasted resting turns. Will you make a tutorial of this code versus division two round? No. I there are a lot of YouTube channels who do that. Okay, I make a potion. Then I find some path in one third of a millisecond. My algorithm I struggled so much with my DP, needed multiple turns here. I do everything in 1% of allowed time. It's so easy. But I lost. Yep. Instead of going for shortest potion, 
sure even that is but why is my opponent stronger than me maybe because they use more spells yeah let's use more spells 12 I have also some condition. I, I use the heuristic function to estimate the spell quality. Mm. Now we start making the deliveries at the same time. Actually, I think that maybe our algorithms are exactly the same because we do everything. You see that? We do the same operations. Okay, maybe not the same. No, 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 they have more. Oh, here they did something I couldn't. Do we know the same spells? No, not the same. We use, we create some potion here. They have a little bit more resources. Number of points is the same. And they, then they go for Potion requiring three blue and two yellow. It's, it's maybe easy for them because they can quickly replace. I could do that too. But also, some spells are repeatable and I don't use it. Need to fix that. But still, the BFS works great. I will submit this in a moment and we will see what is my updated place in the leaderboard. Oh, that's bad. Yep, this is bad. But it's good, I can now investigate. Learn spell, learn spell. Now I have a timeout. It's strange that I use only after knowing those spells maybe if i don't have a lot of big spells then my path towards a potion is long and then it i get a timeout didn't print anything hmm. where there is where is run bfs here let's print that i start bfs replay in same conditions if that was just a single random timeout, I will ignore it. I think it just happens in coding game. So in this website. No. Do I start BFS? I think I don't. Right, then what happens? Some printing. No new line? You think so? I mean, you think that I have a C out without uh, ENDL? In need plus cast. Whoa! You are right. Huh. I I think it used to work. So did I remove it? But thank you a lot. Yes, that was it. Thank you, 20. This happens when you want to learn one of those middle spells from the top, then you need to pay for it.
did I stand still for a second? I want to see. The description is here. Uh, learn AT, learn 25, cast 97, rest, cast, all right, everything is fine. I can remove stupid printing. I keep losing. But I can still submit. We will see my rough place in the leaderboard. It takes time to know exactly your your place. Uh, the goal of this league, like you advance to the next league only if you beat the boss on average. Like if, if you get more, if you win more games than the this main AI by organizers, by default, then you are moved to. I need. I want to go to gold league. I lost by two points, so it doesn't count. <laughs> I'm mainly looking for cases where I completely lost. I'm red? Yes, I am. I make more deliveries and they make better deliveries yep uh, I'm st I will see a few more matches where I lost close game they rush they don't really learn new things so I will lose against such a strategy because I wait like 10 turns. Yep, I lost. No, oh, I lost by a lot. They have, I think, 8 spells? No, 9. Let's watch the whole game with speed times two. For your BFS, do you stop right when you reach a potion or do you take you consider other potions later? No, I go for the earliest, the easiest one to make. I still learn. Okay, here I just spent too many turns learning. Yeah, that's too much. I skip those uh, those spells because I treat them as not worth it. But because of that, I'm just very slow at the beginning. And in the only 30th turn, I do my first delivery, the first potion. That's just very, very bad. I spend here 12 blues, 10 and 10, because when you buy 4... When you learn fourth spell, you need to put one blue here, there, and there. I don't think good spells are worth that much. I need to change the way I learn spells. Maybe by just forbidding learning anything from free up or doing it only once. And yeah, that's that explains my loss. Fair game. Again, it was close. If everybody have, has similar DBFS strategy, then a lot of games will be close. Mm. 
what about learning later on making portions when you can portions when you can i don't see the benefit in learning later it's only better to learn earlier what is this zero zero one? Oh, i know the inventory yes let's remove that printing as well i think it was model 100 yeah this thing I can improve this BFS, I can make it faster, but right now it's not needed. Right. Instead of... Oh, yeah, now maybe it will be needed. I just hit here continue. I don't consider going fro from some inventory to... If I already can afford the potion, I don't consider going to next potions. And... right and here i don't do this instead i care about some kind of ratio the best ratio this is money earned per, per turn If okay, my ratio is potion dot reward casted to double divided by puff. What was that? State operations dot size. If this ratio is better, take it. Now I will not always go for a cheap potion. I will do the one where I earn most per turn. That being said, maybe you should do part of each because you want to be the first to finish sixth potion. Otherwise, you don't gain anything. Uh, if my ratio is greater than best ratio, best ratio is my ratio. Let's replay this match. Here I lost 80 to 50. Will it be better now? It's similar. And my BFS is slower. It's now like 5 milliseconds every time. See this value? 2.5 still fast no need for any speed up why did i go for dynamic programming in the first place i wonder i could maybe print my exact goal which potion i'm going for uh, some long plan It would be nice to also check what my opponent is doing. If he can achieve the same potion faster, then I shouldn't go for it. Maybe it will be easy with this namespace to run it twice. I will also run this BFS for my opponent. Uh, who else wants to watch BenQ versus William Lin? Like a lockout contest. I didn't see BenQ doing any lockouts. Do you know how many nodes I'm visiting during BFS? It's limited by the number of possible states, the size of inventory, and it's around 1000. So it's BFS on 1000 nodes at most.
All right. I think that I learned stupid, stupid from time to time. Also, my rank is eight hundred. Seven hundred already, almost. I lost this. Yeah. Uh, so this is better than what I started with today. That all the DP thing. Rank eight hundred with a thirty minute BFS. Yeah. Why did I spend ten hours on dynamic programming first? Where do I learn spells? Here. Should I assume that ev if we look at here at the very beginning, are there actually any bad spells? I still claim that some of them work well with each other. Oh, repeatable spells. Maybe can do that first. But here I see only big repeatable ones. I don't want so many resources. I, I'm afraid I might get stuck later on. I will never use minus 8 blue. Minus 4 green, plus 4 blue, plus 2 yellow, maybe. Oh, but I have BFS, so it will be tricky. Should not, not learn spells similar to others you already have. You're right. Yes. No, I didn't create this game. This game created by somebody and now thousands of participants write their programs and fight with each other. But this minus one blue plus one green plus one yellow, this is a very valuable repeatable spell. Maybe so is minus two blue and orange. I think if not a lot of resources are involved, then it's worth it. This minus two yellow plus three green plus two orange, I will never use it because it would make my inventory full with green and orange and just you're risking getting stuck. Okay. I see how it might happen, but at the same time, right now my algorithm doesn't penalize having big inventory. I don't want from time to time having full inventory. Why did I have so many blue? Oh, because my algorithm found a path through minus four blue plus two orange. Hmm. You know what? Those witches look like Kume and Kotake from Legend of Zelda. First of all, I didn't play that. Second, it isn't a coincidence, because if you open the website by default, I will... Let me copy-paste this just to make sure. If I refresh this, by default, these are names you get. Kotake and Kume. Again, I don't know how to pronounce that. I didn't play Zelda. You know what? I'm. I understand that I could play around with the spell thing, but I want to be the best. So what about we run BFS for our opponent as well? Almost everybody in this league use BFS, right? So let's use that fact. Uh, I we use global spells and potions. That's a bit bad. Let's say that here we get potions. Potions are actually global, but spells are here. And because of that, I will also put potions there. OK. 
Okay. Mm. I will understand when my opponent can do a potion. And if he can do it faster than me, I will not go for that, unless I cannot avoid it. I will first prioritize among potions that I can do first. And I don't just want this. I think what I want is for every potion the time needed for that, and if I want to do it, the first move to make. Is that good? So I, I feel informations about the potions. For every potion, find that. Yep, exactly. If you're doing BFS for your enemy, if you definitely want to be the first player to get to the last position. If you definitely want to be the first player to get to the last position, potion 90% of the time at least. Are you saying that the, it's important to grab the sixth potion? Yeah, I... But I think it will be just something extra coming from my algorithm. But I agree that it sounds extremely important to be the one doing six potion because you d this way, almost in any board game, you should think about being efficient. So we ba you basically maximize efficiency, meaning Average points gained per turn. For almost, all, for almost any game, board game, you should maximize that. And the fact that you manage to grab the sixth potion, your opponent stays with some un unused resources, wasted resources, it means they used, they wasted the last, let's say, six turns. So you affect this ratio for them a lot. It's very common to just think about this. 6x gr greater than 5y. The scores for potions in this game are they vary a lot, but still, yet it's, it will be very important to grab the last potion. So, you know, but if I know for every potion what is my distance to them and what is the distance for my opponent, I can go for the best potion that I can do faster than my opponent can do their fastest potion. This will be my logic. This is very important. I will now lose against opponents who do repeatable spells uh, because uh, right now my algorithm doesn't care about that. Also, my opponent can learn a new spell and because of that, snap something before me. Well, so one possible move is also to learn a new spell. All right, so those will be pairs, uh, turns, comma, first move. Turns, comma, first move. And this time I will not continue in this case. I see how this can hurt. I can BFS might think that I'm going for some potion, but instead my main function, it just grabs a potion whenever it can. But I think it will be rare that I can afford one potion and BFS still plans to go for something else. All right. This is like best for everything. I believe that potions that size is always five. Let's be more flexible. And for every item first, this is infinity. I don't have infinity. And the first move is minus one.
Rare Potion if I can afford it. Best of Potion ID. This is another one of those moments where I'm excited about what will happen in a few minutes. Uh, this best of IP minimize because the first value is the number of turns with state dot operations and if you really use it then the first move is what is the first move this it's minimum of itself in this new pair dot size all right and at the end obviously return best This is no longer global because I removed it, right? Yeah. When running BFS, I need to pass spells and potions. Let's say this is my, and there will be also his. Where do I save inventory here? All right, we have that. And now some heuristic to choose which potion to go for. I never want to go for potion when possible to avoid. I don't want to go for potion that my opponent can create first. Sometimes it can completely block me. If just I have almost no resources, my opponent already has a lot, then just they they can get anything, then whatever. But I will prioritize being able to make it, not to waste time to create something unnecessary. Uh, oh, opponent has other spells, you're right, you're right, thank you. So there are his spells. This should be an array. Mm. This is opponent cast. <laughs> copy paste? Yeah, copy paste. It's not that I need to maintain this code for months to come. opponent cast no, no what what am i doing no, yeah yeah just i don't want either i just have this good now Hello Ranuga. Hi hi. 
your current want to work against female opponents. That's true. It's good that there isn't any tree involved in this algorithm because then I couldn't name, uh, you know, child of a node, son or par or father. Would need to raise this exception. Yeah, I. Well, you know what I can do? I can do this. His spells define as their spells. And now this replaces it everywhere in code. So actually it will be their spells. You can put a few more like that, but I think you, you get the idea. Action type can only equal one value. Why not an if else if? Why yes? Uh, if I would here use all the options, then yeah, I would prefer else if and at the end do an assert, but if not, then whatever. Learning C++ and this is sweet to watch, you know, but if you understand something, then sure, watch it. All right. I first prioritize things that I can do first. For every I. Hmm. There are actually three categories. I can do first, there will be a tie, and I can do second. Can do. Let's say that I maximize something. The priority will be, not, okay, by default minus one. If my of I dot first, the time needed for something, is smaller than his of I first, this is zero, no, this is plus one, else if equality, then this. Otherwise it stays as minus one. I like big priority. It means I will secure it. I will not waste turns. And right now I have placed 666 around. But I hope that after this it will be like top 200. That's my goal of today. Uh, what else do I care about? Can it happen that I cannot achieve something? I think it will be. Let's put an assert for that. I want to see. If the, hmm. I want this to fail if that isn't true. There, it can. It is def, in this infinity by default. Only if I get to inventory where I can get this potion, then. Okay, this is not always true. Sometimes the potion will be like five yellow and I don't, I cannot create yellow without creating more resources as an extra. So this is dangerous. Let's, let's just do this. For me ratio is potions of I, the three word, divided by the time needed for it. And I will sort by first priority, then by ratio. This means that I cannot create this potion at all. Uh, it's this like infinity. Okay. And choice maximize with priority and then my ratio and then the choice let's say that i is the last index or maybe better
Mm. Best choice is this. Best choice is minus one or my priority. No, it was computed for them. So I need to remember it. Int and double value. That, that, that best value. If this or t comma my ratio. If my new value is greater than value. Then choice best choice is this. Not bad choice, best choice. Do I want to know ID? No, I don't. I want to know the operation. Oh, and minus one actually denotes resting. That's ugly. Like this, maybe. Let's first play to see if it immediately breaks their errors. And if not, then I will also print some stuff. So either way, I will print stuff. Okay, we have errors. I didn't provide one line in time. Start BFS but never finished. So far BFSs were fast. Five and nine milliseconds, four and six, four and six. But it's not crazy fast. Maybe if they have just one item in inventory, just BFS becomes so slow. Is that possible? How many spells do they learn? Ten. Am I too slow? Turn time. Replay. We will see what times there are once av every 200 nodes in BFS. And maybe indeed BFS is too slow. Now I run two BFSs and it is it isn't dependent only on my part. There is start BFS, there is index zero, and what happens after that? Forget to best update best values. You're again right. But this shouldn't cause a timeout, I think. Maybe trying to do some illegal operation. 20 pixels, you're very good today at spotting my mistakes. At the end of BFS, I print the time, right? Start BFS. I get here. Let's maybe print this more often. 
so every 10 turns and at the end we print the time yeah all right another strategy if this is smaller than 10 suspicious or maybe there is some other part of my code that is very slow and that one takes like 40 milliseconds but no here i print time from the beginning okay i only have zero do i not clear something does he have so many spells I only print here i equal to zero for all the potions because the resting consider spelling it doesn't seem to be caused by what happens at the end of my main Is there a link to the game so we can understand what this is about? Yes, link in the chat and in YouTube description. Start BFS doesn't print a single thing. Spells that size, potions that size. Do you have to create an account and join the event to see the description? You know what you can do? You can, if you watch on YouTube or you can scroll through on Twitch, uh, then you can scroll through what I'm doing now and you can pause and read the statement. You are welcome. On my YouTube channel as well, the Erichter one, you'll find a short description what the problem is about. A few more lines. That's some professional copy pasting of the statement. How developers made different difficulty level program as bots, maybe as Dalknerp says it just uh, bought from one of the players. I don't know that. I don't know BFS, I used A star. Eh, fine, whatever. But you should read about differences between BFS and A star. BFR, BFS always fast, finds the shortest path. If graph is small enough, BFS is better. Mm. Okay, we're playing same conditions. I want to see those spells dot size, potions dot size. This actually should change to maybe five. Twelve and five. Yeah, sure. And only four second, four milliseconds passed. Okay. Uh, print X, print Y, and print Z.
and even X wasn't printed. Iterate over potions.size. Potion is this. If this state can afford it, I don't right now I don't even use this boolean value. I print this but I don't print that. Anybody is seeing the mistake? Since you know opponent's score too, maybe you can have different modes for your witch. If your opponent is behind, then make your witch more thinking, otherwise get aggressive on making potions. Not really. I should always... No matter what the current score is, I, I need to... Okay, may, maybe you're right. But right now it's that, not that I see how to make my witch more thinking. Zero, one, two, three. I get to the third potion. The number of potions is bigger than that, right? It's five. Is it because they just made a potion? Maybe temporarily there are five potions and I assume something else? This timeout happens Oh, it's already suspicious before, right? I don't do anything for like three turns. Let's investigate that first. Yeah, and I cast zero. Spell that does not exist. All right, let's, let's start with that. Uh, best choice. Best choice is I. Oh, I, this is still I. I didn't want this to be I. This is my of I dot second. This is the action to make. Reply in same conditions. At least I make moves. Same thing happened. Something is wrong when my opponent does the very first potion. But at least now I m kept making operations. Can this happen that we see different number of potions? No, it's because I run with the same vector. This three here means that I don't get to the last one. Are potions updated every turn? Yes, they are. IP iterates over potions dot size. This is here. Oh, 
what if this is I see I assume that this cannot be zero but it can if my opponent can just now make it this is error I found an empty path for my opponent Alright, if this is empty, then minus 2, so let's pretend that they need to rest. Then I have division by zero as well. If this, or I will say his of i is zero. Hmm. Okay, I care just about my ratio. Yeah, this should work. I don't have any division by zero now. Oof. Yeah, operations was empty indeed. If this works, we remove all the prints. Mm, 79 to 70, that's close. Yeah, all right, one more play, then remove prints. And then adjust the code and maybe do something else after the fifth portion. Oh, damn it, this time I lost by a lot. Instead of Printing this sheet with CRRs. Uh, this oh. I will print what I find with BFSs and I will verify with my eyes if this is correct. Believe me or not, sometimes I make mistakes. And the fact that I think I did something doesn't mean that I did achieve that. So, uh, for every pair, for everything, what do we have? My turns and my first move. This is my of i dot first. My first move. I don't need spaces, that will just pollute the view. My of i dot second. His turns. His of i first. All right, play code. I'm on the internet, I don't make mistakes. Mm. Actually, good point. Good point. I should be winning the challenge then now already. I'm blue, right? I'm losing, maybe because of the learning spell strategy. Okay, we see some stuff. But it's slightly impossible to read that because it's too long. Let's make it then shorter. So I need, he needs, and also this first move move to the end. It's great that I found out how to maximize the code view.
if he has four green, then indeed it's easy for him to make this potion at least. All right, three blue and four blue. Four, four, six, nine, four, five, four, three, seven, seven. I can only make second or third potion faster than he can. And in particular, the first move towards the third potion is 92. And likely this is what I'm doing. I'm going for this one. see if that will be consistent yeah I still can do it one turn faster just 90 did they rest in between how did I drift that oh there is some replacement and also plus one yellow in standard way and do stuff all right I apparently I need to rest no matter what. I'm surprised. Okay, uh, yeah, that, that makes sense because I could only make stuff. But still I would expect that I would use a few spells first. And only then rest. I should prioritize in case of ties. Mm, resting later. All right, four to f five to four, seven to eight. So I will go for this one, seeing that. So for this, I need seven turns for twelve points. That's not very efficient. Instead, yeah, I see. Even though it's slower for me. It, because it's faster for me, I should go for the fourth or fifth spell. For, fourth or fifth potion, one of those two. Because my opponent cannot grab both, most likely. This decreased to zero and one. But he grabbed one, yeah. What to do about it? Hmm. If my opponent is very close to do something, then sure, I shouldn't go for that. If like he can do it this turn or the next turn. But if he's far away, then I don't really know if he's going for that one. So even though I predict moves by my opponent, I forbid my, to myself a lot of things, a lot of operations. I will go for this one most likely. In three turns I can make four operations. Actually, the ratio should be slightly adjusted. I also need to buy the potion. So the the number of turns should be increased by one. Where is the ratio? Here. A reward divided by this plus one. Okay, that's the first thing. The other one. I think I will care about this priority thing only if his is smaller than something. Let's say that by default it's zero. Piece of i dot first is greater or equal damn it. What do I want to do? By default it's 1. If I'm smaller than him, then 0. Then minus 1. But also only if he's of i dot first smaller than, let's say, 4. If he's close to grabbing this. 
maybe even smaller equal to if he's far away then let's assume that no he isn't going for that one I can be even smarter there but for now let's say we do that so only if he's close it's two moves away or fewer then I penalize I don't think I should penalize for this. If we can get at the same moment, then sure. If I can do it slightly faster, then maybe I should reward it even more. Oh, was this like that earlier? Oh no, okay. This minus one now is completely wrong. If I'm greater than that, then minus one. But I would say that if he's close to that and I'm closer, then reward for that. This is better priority than the default one. Go for that, sure. And don't go for it if he's very close. Maybe now some kind of minimax can can be done. Hmm. How many potions did we make? On one, they did an extra one here. It's not that I wasted a lot of moves. How many spells do they learn? A lot. 12. I still have likely a limit. Oh, actually, I also learned 12. And do we have the same spells? Is it really a fair game? Yes, we make exactly same, we learn same spells always from the bottom. So we have the same set of spells. And this means that I'm beaten at the game anyway. Here we can see what the program thinks, what the possibilities are, and which option I'm choosing. Everything is the same number of turns for us both. So far, I, I will go for something with best ratio of points divided by uh, points divided by by what? Uh, my my brain froze. Divided by turns needed. Then we will start using different operations. That's suspicious. Oh, the first, the first uh, potion is just much better to do than the last one. So even though here, I will faster get there. Yeah, I see. This is a strange situation where it's almost like one potion is subset of the other. And that might change my strategy. Yeah, and it does. Oh, something bad happened. Did they use double? Yes, they did. Okay. Some spells have repeatable property. If you hover over a spell, there is repeatable equal true. It means you can double use it or triple use it. And they have a spell changing... Which spell do they use? Changing two blue to two green and they double use it. Then they suddenly have four green.
and that messes up my computations. Which potion do they buy? The fourth one, that's surprising. Yeah, his distance was free. I thought that he needs three more moves to achieve something. Then suddenly his distance became zero. I see. But also, I don't think it's that great to snap something before them instead of caring about myself. So you, you see this where I reward for snapping before him, even though he's close. I will not do it. And I think that this should be done only if he doesn't have anything else. Uh, should be done if he can't do anything else fast, because only then he really is in a bad situation. Have to add a repeatable logic on BFS. Yes, exactly. And I will do it now. But if he's nearby and this, then I don't want to go for it. This means that he can use now two resources moves. about this his best is this I will find what he can do first and he's of it first okay and now Maybe not that I should sort this. His of I dot turns. And I will care about second best. If this and his second best if my of i first greater than this and this is his best option and his other best option is just worse than that And his ways of one, so the second best is greater than his of I first. This would mean that this is his best option we, and without any ties. Also, if I can achieve this thing and his ways of one is greater than his of I first, say plus one, this is his best option by a lot increase the priority and I would say that both those only if this is small and this is like greater or equal to and there is a difference of at least two and this thing he can do in at most let's say two turns then increase the priority then if he can achieve this in at most two turns and this is at least by one better than anything else if he has two similar options then I don't care but also this means most likely that those two options are similar so I will not waste my resources 
horizontal. So if his I first is zero, then I don't like it that much. If this is the case, and he can do both, but this is covered by that. Yeah, it is. All right. That's one thing. Let's run it. And then repeatable logic in BFS. I lost. I don't like the fact that here we make the de deliveries at the same moment. And first of all, they got more points for that. But second, they will make the next one so much faster. So I want to see what my program for prints. I can do the next thing in five turns, but he can in two. So I should not really go for that. So why am I again resting just after one thing? I will take care of this later. Uh, how can this happen? can make it in two operations and I need five. The third one, the one having a lot of green. Well, he has minus one, he has plus one yellow. Oh, that's a very good. And then minus one yellow plus three green. Oh, indeed, he has better spells. Plus one yellow is just very, very good. And also he has one green already. So that's understandable. Why am I over resting? And I'm resting again, what? Plus one blue, plus one orange. What about this? Do I need plus one blue and orange? And is it available right now? No, it isn't. So I rest just to use plus one blue, plus one orange, then rest again, then use something and again use plus blue, plus orange. Mm, but if there are ties, I will, I need to break ties by the resting. I don't like how much my algorithm rests. Okay. Is there a way from input of the game to know? Oh, no, no, first repeatable, because th this is clearly my mistake. I should care about repeatable spells. And then I will do other smart things. Also, the stream will not be long anymore. Mm, it's two hours and a half already. Before I do repeatable, let's submit. Right now, my place is 720. This will run for some time. I will just look at like two games I lose to see if maybe I got timeout. If yes, investigate. If not, cool. I will tell you the rules. Maybe some people have just joined. I lost this game. So I'm winning. Oh, I won. I thought that show. All right. I lost by 12. Reasonable three three four four five five. 
Hmm. Yeah, he can make the last potion faster than me. Before that, it's a tie. So the last potion is important. Again, a tie. Then we both make deliveries in the same turn, but he just has more points. He has a better potion to make. But I'm very happy that I did BFS for my opponent. It was useful. Whoa! Place 500. Do you plan to compete for the first place? No, for sure no. First, first reason, I'm not able to. I'm not that good at such kind of AI games. Second, I nobody during a stream should do that. Because then other people can copy the same strategy. If you now copy this strategy of mine, you will get nothing for it. Because, well, it's not that you get special price for being 400 in silver. But main reason is I'm not able to win. It would be nice now to get to Gold League. Also Sunday it will be my this is Sunday will be last day of the challenge and also my last stream. All right, repeatable. Where is BFS? Here. Repeatable and not resting that much if possible. What is the max place you think you can compete for? I'm sure that I'm I'm not good enough to worry about that. Other people are just better. I, now there are 500 people better than me in this league, and then there is a gold league where everybody is better than me. So, you know, I don't need to worry about it. Repeatable have one to max possibility to add. Yeah, but, 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 but. I wonder how I need to do that. In operations, maybe I want to mark in some way that I repeat the operation. Hmm. For every spell, there is resting here. Then, if I can use this spell, Say that I can do it at most four times. Or no, just while this. If this comma count else break. Okay, so now can you use a spell? It gets something extra as a parameter. If count is greater than one and not spell repeatable, that's forbidden. Easy enough. If not visited, then this is new state and operations push back this. I need some way to mark uh, this thing and this is what I will do. It's very hacky, but I think it will work. Count times thousand plus spell ID. All spell IDs are, I think, up to hundred. Maybe it's even written in the statement, isn't it? Maybe it isn't. Okay, but I keep seeing things around 90, so this should work. 1070 will mean using spell ID 70 thousand times. Right, now where do I use operations?
nowhere. I need that somewhere in the main for sure. Oh, because I remove, I return the first element maybe. Yeah, operations dot zero. So best dot second. So we have this thing. If minus one, then this. If best choice, let's say, if it's greater or equal to thousand, let's say that then I need to repeat it. Best choice model a thousand. Best choice divided by thousand. That right now, thousand thousand seventy would mean exactly once. So this is what I want, right? Mm. No, I, by greater than equal thousand, I want to denote repeatable. Seventy should mean once. Thousand seventy should mean twice. Thousand seventy should mean twice. 1070 twice, 70 once. Thousand seventy once, thousand seventy twice. Like that, I hope. Have you tried sound encoding? It's a really good method. I don't know what is sound encoding. I want to see in those optimal things to do a value greater than a thousand. And again, I rested like twice in a row. Oh, almost a tie. Another thing that shouldn't happen is that before my opponent, sometimes uh, the distance for him to some potion decreased by two because they used a repeatable thing. Now that should never happen. Oh, yeah, 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 uh, there was 2000. I'm using something three times. What about that? Let's decrease the speed. I'm going for, for what? The first two things, they require using spell number 86. So the one with minus two green. Uh, and this means use it three times, so exchange six green to something else. And that will give me a lot of blue and one orange. Is that legal? I will have... I try to cast it... 86? Oh, 86. 86? This one I used three times, 86. Change six blue to six green. That's my move. And I'm making the move. That's good. Four, four, three, five. Mm, all right, I'm going for this one apparently, but my opponent will snap it. I wasted something. Assuming that my opponent moves to something, for sure, then 
number of moves to that, no, maybe not for sure, but the number of moves to that should decrease by one every turn. Assuming that my opponent is strong. So here I can already detect that he's going for that. All right. Play code again, but I'm happy with what happened. The people use le machine learning in higher leagues. In some challenges, it can happen. I wonder if here I could do something about losing. Not really. He can do it in three turns. I need four. I get four deliveries only. Hmm. Wonder if it's good that I look at that ratio thing. Okay. One other thing is when I plan my moves, why do I have so many blue? Oh, because I have a spell for that. Going for this 10, okay, going for this 10, po ten pointer is smart. Yeah, never mind. What happens after that? Oh yeah, again I rest, even though almost all spells are here. For sure need to do something about it. This is my next thing to do, to take care of resting too much in BFS. And then indeed improve learning stuff. Is, Turing pl is Tourist playing this game? I don't know about that. Does using repeatable spell use one turn? Yes. You can I mean, use three times in a row, but, but within one turn. That's allowed. Oh, he has 10 blue. It's a close game right now. Me and he, I can, in four turns I can do something, he can in three. Now I lose by 12 points and I see that in two turns I could get this. In two turns I could get that. In particular, if I got this before them, I would win. But first adjust BFS. Later I will try to do something where I try to uh, adjust my speed of making potions to be the first one to snap the sixth potion. Right now I just care about the ratio points uh, earned per turn, but Sometimes maybe doing things faster is most, more important. Even now I could take some kind of average maybe between my efficiency, points per turn, and how many turns I will need. BFS. If some state is already visited, maybe it would be good to overwrite it. It would be good to overwrite it if this new 
possibility has more spells available hmm. can this help to move this later maybe that can help already because then in the next layer of BFS this will be considered first yeah that can already help okay first consider using a spell and then consider resting 76 to 61 but by the way how long stream today 20 minutes more that will make it three hours in total it isn't significantly better but let's see after i make a potion again my first operation is resting yeah But indeed I got again for blue. Maybe that's fair. This BFS should be smarter. It should if something is already visited, but now you can achieve the same thing with uh, the same number of turns without resting or something like that, then that's better. Yeah. Fine. One more thing before I submit. Let's detect when the game ends. Is there something for that in the input? I don't think there is. Then how do I know? I can keep track of their, of both scores and I can count how many times it increased. Do I, do I have in the input score of every witch? No, not that. Mm, minimize this. Input. Score. Yes, there is a score. It's right after inventory. The score. Uh, if score is greater than previous score of i, plus plus. Mm. Count potions, no, brute. Oh, also brute. And once we have five. What should be the logic? If one of which is has five, then maybe just start prioritizing the speed. That's the easiest if I can think of. Ratio. Then I should actually prioritize being better than best time of his something like that do i do that in both cases if it's five five or four five or five four i think in um, 
let's say that in any case I want to be fast. If maximum of brute of zero, brute of one is five, then this will be just super priority. Also, I should print this number, run some game to make sure that I computed that correctly. Uh, do I make streams in Polish? No, but soon there will be some Polish content from me on YouTube because I do classes in Warsaw in Polish. I will put that on YouTube, but it's it will be advanced. It's for Polish Olympiad in informatics. My of I first is smaller than the best his, then amazing. Else, if equal to the best his time, then this, and else nothing, priority stays as zero. Yeah, I guess. Maybe else priority is minus the number of turns to still break ties by the fastest. Then this will be the ratio thing. If one turn is left, priority minus one. If five turns left, yeah, that sounds good, but. If I have multiple ways to do it before before him, then I don't care about that, so priority will be free, and then I should care about the reward. I don't care about the number of tours. Say that this is that I just care about the reward but this is better because he will not get a reward then this is also fine otherwise just try to get anything it's a bit strange if he has five points I have four and I'm like one move away from something. What will happen then? I will prioritize on time. And I guess that's fine. Do you think you can come, come top 10 in this contest? Maybe if I spend several long days on it maybe all right this is oh already he, it's three to one here three to two four to three i'm slightly winning okay but he has resources now it's five so my strategy changes right here Right, what? Okay. Well. Now I can do something in five turns. Well, oh, I I know what I want to check. He. Three four two. Three four two. Okay, I'm just checking if nothing decreased by one, by more than one. Four four three. What? Three two one. Oh, is that a bug? Right now I'm saying that he can make the last potion. Oh, but the, this moved. 
never mind. I see. I made the situation better for him because suddenly he can create this, even though he tried to go for that one. I don't see any mistakes. I would say that's time to submit the code again. Place 500 right now. Three points away. Damn it. Also, at the end you get points for your resources. At the end you get points. Whoa. Hmm. Actually, that's huge. I think that can make the difference between moving to higher de division. After you made this delivery, here with those spells, if I have five, five turns left, I can use them to create resources. For every non-blue resource at the end, you get plus one point. I will write this down at, at the top. This is to do for Sunday. Uh, this and create non-blue resources at the end. Can't make last push. This is done. Oh, actually, I have here. Nope. 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 Hmm. Okay. Yeah. So what? Submit time? Yes, in Gold Legend, the end game is, is very important. I believe you. I would even say that at the end, you should know exactly what will happen till the very end should know moves of your opponent and yourself. So, well, if it's 5-5 five, five, or even 5-4, but you expect your opponent to win, uh, to get the 6-1, you should plan maybe all your moves ahead because nothing new will happen. The new potion will not happen. Already when it's like 4-4, four, four, you should assume that you want to do the best thing using the current potions. Maybe it's possible to plan two potions ahead. This will create some extra resources. Oh, and zero less resting in uh, in BFS. Maybe I can do something about that. Last submit today. The current rank was 500. Um, can explain in short your BFS, a summary. My BFS starts from my current inventory and checks how fast I can get any other inventory. This game, I think I would win if I properly created resources at the end. At least I didn't rest, oh, now I did. How do you not time out? Why would I? This is BFS on 1000 nodes. The number of possible inventories is 1000. Well, okay, he's rushing with just two spells and those are very good spells, just pluses. I think it's just Oh, I still choose spells so poorly. Look here, I create so many blue. Yeah, that's that's just stupid. Damn it, my four. Let's. Uh, uh, but that's a quick fix. I will limit the turn when I can do that. 
or the total number of spent blues I now learn up to 12 spells I don't know if I need that much but this should be a bit dependent on hmm. say that the 12 spell could only be the bottom bottommost one should this be spells size plus ts dot index if this all right so after some time i will be less likely to learn spells at the top and sometimes this will give me fewer than 12 spells that's strange so he can make in two turns Damn it. Okay, he has two orange immediately, so... He, oh, I see, he got lucky. He bought something and then new potion requires two orange to blue. Oh. Rank 750. I'm happy about this stream. I ranked up still. Four versus three. Yes, yeah, so he will win. How is it possible? Okay, it is possible. We have similar resources and maybe he has just better spells. Plus two green. Do I have plus two green? Okay. In this situation, I take the minus three orange plus three yellow. He just skips it and it goes for plus two green, which is much better. I will write this down as an idea. Play with heuristic function, prioritize uh, those that mm, spells positive only. Those that only give you resources, they don't require anything. I have rank around 500. But I keep winning, so I will keep ranking up. But I made some small change here, right? What was the last thing? I changed. Oh yeah, this heuristic with tome index. I can submit again, but I want to first wait a little bit for the battle progress. But I will not get I will not get promoted to the first league because I would need on average to be better than this boss, and I'm not. Also, middle tool tier resources look more useful than first and fourth. Is that the case? Much game, you have only four potions. I think you can go on faster when you're the first. Good point. If I'm winning, I want the game to finish early. Fifty-nine. This now it's hmm. here. They are winning. I'm winning, but they have a bit more resources. They are winning by a lot because they did something extremely expensive. Oh yeah, 
they created five yellow and it was worth 20 plus three extra. It's like game over at this point. 8170, if I here produced a lot of tier two resources. Oh, actually I won this game. That That's the first, that's the first against Bosdorf. What about watching this whole thing again? Learn the first spell. There, there is some difference. They prioritize the second spell, starting from some point. I learned the full twelve spells. That's a lot of blue. It seems that my program isn't stupid. What is this? This is a tournament for bots. You need to implement AI to play a two player game. Rank 400. So one more small fix and resubmit. Now I'm losing and winning, so I will not go up. Here I had a serious up, so I kept. I had a series of winning. Apparently I was better than other people around my rank. Now it isn't the case anymore, so I can assume that I will not go better than 400. And this means I can safely resubmit. What, I ca what can I simply change? The heuristic function for spells. Help me with that. Okay, this. Right now, I estimate spell quality like that. Mm. You sort by first all positive, and then I didn't understand. We'll analyze your code. Okay, if the first one is positive, then use that. Okay, I see. This is... Take the second one only if it's all positive. I think that this was what bot was doing. And do, uh, do you think that I should replicate that? We can try. Why not? Also, as you can see, the rank doesn't go up. Where is this thing? All right. I wonder if this is sorted by Tom Index already. Well, I can do it myself. All right, they are sorted. If the first one is positive, we take it. Mm. 
mm, let me do whatever else same for well same thing for the next one else Let's grab the first one. So right now I will not use any heuristic function whatsoever. And this will mean that in every game I will have the same spells as the bot. Oh, function positive. Oh, my rank actually got, got up. I'm top 400. Tom spell. Works. Oh, Zapak, thank you for hosting. How is it going there? I watched your stream, I think, yesterday, for like 15 minutes, where you were doing some distribution graphs in Python, or like Jupyter, I don't remember what was that. Uh, all right, do I learn the same spells as the boss? Yes. They went for the first potion. I went for something else because it's worth more points. Hmm. I think I'm doing well. Okay, they won because I rested at the end instead of creating some resources. With this minus one blue plus one green, I could easily, or it just with this, I could win. Yesterday was grueling. What place do you have? I'm so. I now abandoned completely my idea of complicated dynamic programming. Today I rewrote my algorithm from scratch, uh, so removed all the DP, now it's just BFS, plus some logic because I do also BFS for my opponent and I detect if he can grab a potion before me. Currently 500 overall. And what is my current place overall? It will be here, right? In the like leaderboard can you show us in short bfs i mean it's just bfs 600 this means 600 overall I, oh rank got up a lot nice Five eight. You're rising because it's still running your battles though. Yeah, but I thought that already my battles kind of uh, leveled, how, is it, how to call it? I stopped going up. This is what I thought. That Now I kept losing and winning kind of every second match. So I thought that the rank 400 will kind of stay, even though only half the games were done. Mm. Now, Please somebody tell me what I said a minute ago. I wanted to do something, right? What was that? Oh yeah, the, the very end. If I see that I will not go before my, my opponent, I need to... Perfectly I should do BFS and among states that I can achieve, Choose the one with most items of type 1 or higher. Mm. 
but instead of doing that in BFS, let's just do it greedily here because I want to finish stream for today. All right. Right. Here are the special ifs. Right. Rank two hundred. Nice. If the maximum is five, okay, then if priority is negative, then I prioritize over time. Let's say that this is minus ten, minus that. That's minus that. Then if it's below 10, it means that this is the case. So I will not be first. So then if his brood is 5, and my priority is below minus 10, I assume from that that I can print, I give up. Oh, no. I need to print that after a comment, hmm. but this would be anyway a special case. Again, the best this should be BFS. Oh no, wait, what here? Oh, yeah. So here, if my value dot first the priority, if this is smaller than minus ten, and he brewed five. First, let's try this. I want to run again in, in the same environment to see that I detect correctly this situation. It should happen here. Nothing changed before that. How do you advance? Indeed, if you are in the leaderboard higher than the boss of current league. How did he know which spell boss will be king? He used very easy strategy. Right. I give up. Yep. Okay, that's correctly detected. Cool. And now again, later BFS, but on Sunday. Now instead. Or should I ask BFS about that? Because it already knows. If spells of I dot castable and do I have a function for can? Yes. Can of my inventory, comma spells of I dot cost. This will be greedy. One plus wood of two plus wood of three. Count those tier one to three stuff and now best is maximized of best and count comma spells of i dot id. The first one should be the actually the current values, so I wouldn't go down by forcing me to use some spells. If best dot second is equal minus one still, I'll sprint cast. What is that called? Yeah, cast. Best dot second. This I give up still means maybe I will use some other uh, spells. After resting, maybe they will unlock. 
it's replaying the same conditions and now I expect after this delivery that this special thing will turn on and greedily every time I will go for my spells and I will try using anyone that maximizes, maximizes the number of um, items of second, fourth and third ty type so non-blue resources okay, I just straight gave up which is suspicious because hmm. where is the minus one blue thing? Wait, I give up. I didn't want that. What did I do here? Oh, this is a case where I want to rest. I replaced the wrong if. I hope that this was supposed to be resting. I would really appreciate short search summary to BFS. You, you can Google tutorial on BFS. I was able to tie it up. And yeah, later. BFS to gain most number. This is very important, but we'll do that on Sunday. I will hit play again and submit them again. The previous code was top 200. Now what changed is my strategy to learn spells at the very beginning. Uh, and the end game. I see that he can do it first. How did it happen? Here I give up, but then I actually create two blue. Oh, I see how. If I don't decrease, then I still use that. And I won. Submit. Previous one was top 200. How often such challenges? I think it's uh, twice a year. They have spring challenge and fall challenge. If I'm wrong, please somebody tell me. Nice, 20 points of difference. I think I d wasn't smart with my heuristic function to choose spells at the very beginning. Now it's always, we always have exactly the same set of spells. I think. What is going on here? He can finish in one turn. I got nine points, then nine. Sounds like I'm much better off here. I In two turns I can create this, so likely I will do that. Yep, I did. 20. Maybe again he got lucky with having a lot of resources necessary for this and quickly he will do it. But right so right now it's a tie and he has a lot of resources. Hmm. Do I have that in notes that I should prioritize? Yeah, if you can create more resources with the same number of turns, do that instead. That's still useful, but Sunday.
you shouldn't give up you get two points for every tier two or above uh, this give up is just a temporary thing it isn't a give up also i will take a look at statement to see if i know the rules correctly Please gain one rupee for each tier one ingredient or higher in their inventory. Yep. Will you post stream available online for review on YouTube? Yes, it is always automatically posted. Right. 200 line right now. I will not touch my code anymore today just waiting for results tomorrow is top cutter open mm, finals i will do the commentary again damn it i did the last one but still i lost they learned so many more spells maybe i should do that too Okay, I see an easy improvement. If I learn 12, but still this one is positive, then take it. Take the positive one, no matter what. I will just write it down. Idea minus one. Take first positive spell, even if you already. Top 100. Yay. You need to remove line 9297 because you already have line 291. I guess that now it's shifted by one. So now I will take a look at 298. Two nine one. Are you sure you're talking about this thing? I should remove this line because I have this one. Wait, before I add it, it was here. I don't get it. Sort this. Test in arena, you will make it to gold. I already did. And I'm going up. Look into sorting. Yeah, my sort sorts by index. By the index from one to six. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay, okay. I sort twice. Okay, thanks. Yeah, sure. Thank you. That was easy to catch. Let's go. 50th place. Any other ideas for Sunday? Then I will write it down while waiting here. 40th. I think it's still perfectly possible that I will finish in like 10th place. I think this version of your bot will be good for sure. 
I hope so as well. Oh, I lost against the organizer. He's the guy I always talk to about streaming coding game or anything like that. One step closer to victory. I must rest now. He's using the printing a lot. What happened here? Why, I'm, uh, why am I behind? Behind a lot. I was destroyed. What happened? And you don't see my points, but the result was like that. It's almost 100 to 50. 24th. Thirty second. No. Give me the gold. A star versus BFS. I think it was already mentioned here, both in the chat and by me. BFS is better if you can do it. A star is just a heuristic. If you have enough time to do BFS, do BFS. Nineteenth. Do I pass automatically if I get rank one, or does it need to happen at the end of battles in progress? If for a moment I get first, is it enough? What does heuristic mean? It means not necessarily optimal, like suboptimal. You can Google the word, maybe there will be a better definition. You have to be above boss. Yeah, but do I need to be above boss at the end of battles in progress or at any moment for, let's say, like a minute? Click on leaderboard. Why? At the end. Okay, thank you. Thank you, guys. Forty. Damn it. Okay, I think this will not happen. Lost quite a few matches at the end. Yeah, I think I'm not better than people in the top. It isn't only about winning half the battles against the boss. Maybe a lot of people optimized playing against boss and I have quite similar strategy because I use the same spells. We made delivery at the same moment. He made a better one. Again, delivery at same or almost same turn. Then I'm destroyed. But well, I prioritize getting some points at all. It will go up even after 100 battles in progress? Really? After the end of all matches, but after it locks you in for promotion, you cannot be pushed back down again. I mean, from the better league? Or what do you mean? I can drop in places, right? Uh, 
I will let you know on Sunday what happened here. I will not wait another like 20 minutes because it seems that this will not be one or five minutes. Either I'm already gold or my ver or I'm very close and I just need a few ifs, like just changing maybe the number of spells to 10 or 14, you know, experimenting like that. Mm. If this is not enough, I will spend like 10 more minutes tomorrow to try to submit again. So I will make some small change, submit, wait half an hour, make small change, submit, and maybe that's enough. Waited two hours to get gold. All right. And I will not wait. Thank you, everybody, for watching. If there is somebody live, I will rate them. Going for gold on AI. That's great. A fellow coding game streamer. Raid. Also check out Discord server. Uh, and my Google Calendar. Links are at least in Twitch chat. Wait, this command doesn't work. Calendar. Oh, it w does work. All right. See you tomorrow during Top Coder Open commentary and on Sunday during another day of coding game.